Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of EUV. The way of chip manufacturing is actually very simple, either relying on chip manufacturers to improve the process, or relying on equipment suppliers to strengthen technology research and development. For example, EUV lithography machines are used to create high-end chips to explore the limits of human chip process performance. However, the traditional path is getting narrower and narrower. What other high-end chip solutions are there? How far can the EUV lithography machine go? On December 29, 2022, TSMC achieved mass production of 3 nanometers chips. This is the most advanced semiconductor technology for mankind so far, and it is expected to push human chip technology to a new peak under the mass production of TSMC. The industry has been rumored that Moore's law has reached its limit. With TSMC's 3 nanometers mass production, the limit of Moore's law has been broken again. It fully shows that there is still a long way to go for high-end chips, not even just 3 nanometers, but it is also possible to achieve mass production of 2 nanometers and 1 nanometer chips in the future. Although the chip performance can continue to break through, the side effect is also obvious, that is, the cost of using high-end chips is getting higher and higher. According to TSMC's quotation for 3 nanometers foundry, each 12-inch wafer reached US$20,000, equivalent to 137,000 yuan. Based on a yield rate of 60% to 80%, about 200 chips can be cut from a 12-inch wafer. Then the cost of each chip is 685 yuan. Of course, the actual amount cannot be so accurate. If the yield rate is biased towards 60%, fewer chips can be used per wafer, and the cost of a single chip may be around 7 or 800. Such a cost will make mobile phone manufacturers bear huge pressure on chip procurement, and it may not be so easy to control the cost of 3 nanometers chips in terminal equipment. Therefore, when it comes to high-end processes such as 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers, chip performance and foundry costs are almost directly proportional. The reason for this is that the development path of traditional chips is getting narrower, and the investment in using EUV lithography machines and adopting high-end technology is getting higher and higher. TSMC spent more than 20 billion US dollars on the construction of a 3 nanometers production line, and it is difficult to control costs and bring preferential foundry prices to customers. If the cost of achieving high-end chip breakthroughs is expensive, then mass consumers may not pay for it. Therefore, it is very important to explore more cost-effective high-end chip technology. For example, Japan's Kioxia, Canon and other giants have developed nano-imprint technology. Compared with the light source exposure of lithography machines, nano-imprint technology equipment engraves chip patterns on the equipment and then prints the wafer as stamp to create the chip. The whole process subtracts steps such as film deposition, and the cost of equipment is also relatively cheap, and the power consumption is lower than that of EUV lithography machines. Japan's nano-imprinting is already developing towards high-end manufacturing processes. If mass production of equipment is finally realized, it may change the rules of the game in the semiconductor industry. 
After Japan, China's high-end chip solutions also came. It is a wafer-level silicon-based two-dimensional complementary stack transistor developed by Fudan University. This is a heterogeneous CFET technology that improves the utilization of chip space by changing the transistor structure, which not only meets higher computing power requirements, but also does not rely too much on EUV lithography machines. The improvement of traditional chip technology is largely done by increasing the density of transistors. The more transistors a chip can accommodate, the stronger the performance. However, if the transistor structure is improved in the same unit area, it may also be able to achieve twice the result with half the effort in pursuing high-end chip technology. How far can the EUV lithography machine go? The silicon-based chips developed by human beings have been developed for half a century, relying on the research and development of generations to improve the performance level of chips and tap higher process technologies. However, at the current level, it is very difficult to achieve a qualitative leap. The performance improvement of TSMC's 3 nanometers is only 10% to 15% higher than that of 5 nanometers, and it can't achieve double the performance after spending more than 20 billion US dollars, which is enough to show that the road to high-end chips has come to the end. Is the EUV lithography machine useless? In fact, although it has become very difficult to upgrade high-end chips, EUV lithography machines are still the best high-end chip manufacturing tools. It is the best path that ASML and global scientific research companies have spent decades exploring. Solutions for mass production of chips but the question is how far can the EUV lithography machine go? I am afraid that ASML's next generation NA EUV lithography machine is the end. As the only manufacturer of energy produced EUV lithography machines, ASML has decided to mass produce the next generation NA EUV lithography machines in 2024. At that time, the 0.55 numerical aperture system will be adopted to help TSMC and Samsung realize the mass production of 2 nanometers chips and even a breakthrough in 1 nanometer chips. NAEUV lithography has the opportunity to rewrite the rules of the game in the semiconductor industry and allow Moore's law to continue but it is hard to say whether it will be five years or ten years. After all, no matter how powerful the NAEUV lithography machine is, it has its performance limit. Moreover, the huge chip manufacturing cost makes design manufacturers dare not try it lightly, and no one is willing to spend a lot of money as a test product. If the chip produced by then does not have the ideal performance improvement, wouldn't it be a waste of effort? Human beings have developed high-end chips to the level of 3 nanometers. Even if Moore's law can be maintained for 10 years, the huge cost is not easily acceptable to consumers. Therefore, it is very important to explore other high-end chip solutions. Maybe it is still in theory, but all practice starts from theory. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.